Have you ever felt like you are constantly changing what you say and you're never saying the same thing and the audience never gets you, especially on social media? What's up, guys? This is Philip Sessions, your public speaking and communications coach. And I want to talk to you today about the importance of repeating your message over and over again. Too often, and myself included when I first got started with social media or just messages in general and speaking, I would speak on different subjects because I wanted people to be able to learn. But here's the thing. As humans, we don't learn from hearing something once. Unless if we touch that hot stove, which we know as a child, the parent, your parents will say, hey, that stove's hot. Don't touch it. And the only way you learn is by touching that hot stove. So there are times that we do learn from one try, but it's only for that one instance. Now, if you see something else that's hot, you're like, well, I'm not sure. Maybe it's not hot and you go touch that. So we don't learn this very easily. Us as humans, we are fallible like that or whatever word. I'm making that up there. But <laughs> we have problems with knowing exactly what to do. We as humans struggle to learn things and it takes us the statistic out there or most people will say seven to 12 times. We have to hear something seven to 12 times before we will make a decision, before we will learn anything. So if you're only saying a message one time and you move on and say another message and you share more information, Nobody is actually going to hear that. There, nobody is ever going to learn that from you or know that's the product or service that you help them with. So you have to repeat your message over and over again. As I said at the beginning, should you keep the same message, the same subject, or should you change it every time? You need to keep the same subject. And when it comes to speaking, when we think about getting on stage or when we're going into meetings, if we keep changing up that message because we think everybody hears it and that everybody understands it, we're going to move on. You're missing out on people actually understanding and actually learning from you because people don't remember. You remember because you're the one that said it. You're the one that thinks about it. You're the one that's doing it day in, day out. But those around you aren't doing this day in and day out. They're not constantly thinking about this. You are bringing this information to light for them. You are telling them about your company. You're telling them about your service. So while it's in your head, while you think you know it and you remember it, which I hope you do, your audience doesn't. Your audience doesn't remember all of that information. Your audience doesn't notice that you're saying it every day. I actually had a really good friend when I did my first public speaking event, I hosted my own event and I felt like I was posting probably every couple of days, but I thought I was posting pretty consistently. And for about two months I was doing this. And one of my friends who we engage on each other's content a lot, we we're talking later after the event, it was a couple of months later, we were at another event together that I was speaking at and he just came and attended that he was telling me about my event and the fact that I didn't have many people show up. And he's like, you know, I really didn't see you post much about it. He's like, I probably saw about four or five times. And like I said, it wasn't every day that I was posting about this, but I was posting in my stories. I was posting on my news feed and everything. And I was posting in different ways so that people could see this, but I didn't want to annoy them. But this guy, and as you know, most of you know, the algorithms, if you are engaging with somebody's content, they'll start seeing your content more. And he and I engage on each other's content from time to time, and yet he still barely saw that. So what that it tells me and what it should tell you is that it doesn't matter, first of all, if you're posting this just on occasion, people aren't going to see it even if they are engaged with you all the time. And in the case with my friend here, he wouldn't have minded. He understands why I'm posting every single day on this, or I'm talking about the 
speaking event every single day because I want people to come and I need people to come. And in this case, I needed people to come. But I thought I was going to annoy people, so I didn't do this every single day. And even somebody, the algorithm should have been feeding them my event, only saw it a couple of times. So now think about people that you're trying to reach that you don't talk to, that you don't even know yet, that could be a potential customer that has never seen you before. Do you, do you think they're going to see you or know about your product or service or uh, hear your message unless you're repeating it all of the time and it being the same message? No. So you need to make sure that you don't change that message. Yes, you may vary it a little bit, Yes, you don't want to say the same thing every single time, like literally the same thing, sharing the same story, sharing the same fact. Don't do things like that. But the core message, the core of your product or service needs to be there, but share it in a different light, share it with a different story, however you can do to just change it a little bit. It's almost like my walls back here. They're gray. If you're watching the video, they're gray walls. And if next time I'm talking about my wall, oh, my, my wall back here, oh, my wall back here in my podcast studio, my wall, my podcast studio. But one time it's gray, another time it's yellow. You can talk about that, how my wall on the podcast studio, which is the main focal point, is yellow. Talk about what you think about that yellow wall or how it reminds you of Big Bird on Sesame Street or gray is gray and blah, kind of like. I don't know, prison food or something, what we see on TV and everything. But you can kind of describe this in different ways. And I know that wasn't a great example. But describe what your product or service is and in different ways. Talk about reviews, how people liked it. So people are seeing it, but they're not seeing exactly the same thing every time. But if you are talking about one subject and you go to a completely different subject and then it's a different subject and new information and new information... People are going to be confused. People are not going to know what you stand for. So don't change that subject. Repeat it over and over again, just with a different little spin on it, a different story, different way to describe it, showing it from a different angle, whether it be a customer talking about your product or service, or you have another employee talking about that product or service and you post it on your personal or business page. Those are ways that you can change it just a little bit, but not completely change that message. So should you keep speaking on the same subject? Yes. Should you change it all the time? No. But what you should do is change how you talk about that subject, but make the subject the same. And if you guys got any value out of this episode, if you felt like this was valuable for you, make sure one, share it with a friend, two, follow me, and three, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts and what you're doing to help yourself be able to change up your message just slightly, but not completely change the subject of that message.